Hey everybody, I'm Accidental Grenade and welcome back. <clears throat> I'm here, I'm caffeinated, I'm ready to fire off some more Lost Runs. A lot of people think it's weird. I think people think it's weird because I see a lot of sentiment about playing the Lost that they people will post like, Oh my god, well let's do the seed first, J1WM2CJP. Uh, people will post like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm done. I never have to play as that character again. I like the Lost, man. Even though I don't like losing, I don't like losing as the Lost, I don't necessarily, um, you know, relish starting as the Lost sometimes. I, I, I live for a challenge in gaming, I think is what it comes down to. Dead Bird is a funny joke. Uh, doesn't, doesn't work for the Lost because it only approximately take damage. Um, I love a challenge in gaming, and so I'm a kind of a fan of playing as the Lost, at least at a core concept. Sometimes, you know, in practice, it doesn't come out that way, because when you play as the Lost and you lose 30 times in a row, frustration can set in, and, I, and, and that happens for me too, but I think it happens for me, and then I get over it, because like I said, as a... A core principle I like the idea of the lost so I'm gonna continue to um, I think in between streaks or in between other uh, ventures in Isaac I am gonna continue to play as the lost occasionally I'm a I'm a lost apologizer I feel like or apologist I should say uh, I gotta you know I gotta proselytize you gotta you gotta believe in lostology um, are you a believer in Lostology? Do you play Lost even when you're done with the unlocks? Because I think I'm going to continue to. <clears throat> Although we'll see. We'll see if I, uh, I just go mentally insane because of this. I, I may. You never know. Um, last episode, last runs didn't turn out great. They went all right. Um, didn't make it very far. But it's the first time I've played as the Lost in, in quite some time. So, like a... Like here, maybe. It's like. Is it like all the way over here, really? It feels so far. It is. Alright. 12 cents. Let's. Let's. Let's bomb our way into the shop since we can. And if nothing else, we'll donate in here. Mmm, champion belt though. You know what? No. I, I need real platinum god. <laughs> Fine, you know <laughs> uh I I can't I couldn't couldn't even bomb to get champion belt anyway. Uh so I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm just gonna hold off there. We're gonna go fight the boss. It's famine. Famine's a pretty easy boss, which means I'll probably die fighting Famine. I have this knack for talking about how easy something is and then getting hit by it. So, as most characters, that's just kind of humiliating. As the Lost, it's it's totally emasculating, depressing, and uh, really just uh, yeah, it's just it's like a kick right in the in the RNG testicles. But you should be down into your second phase here, please, please, if you please. There we go. Did it before we produce another fly, which is nice. Nice, yeah, get trapped in the rocks, that's always cool too. Nice. And we got ourselves a cube of meat for a little bit of orbital protection. Like, I could buy a key in the shop, but I'm not gonna... Could buy a key and open that golden chest. It's not the worst idea, but I'm not gonna do it. We'll get an iron chest here for free instead. Maybe it'll be just as good. Mm, probably not. Probably, definitely not. Got a penny there. Probably not gonna be able to get in that curse room, which is again, kind of annoying. Another pill, that's speed up, which is better. I could use being a little faster so far on this run. Sometimes you get too much speed, but we're nowhere near there yet, so I'm happy to have it for now. Okay, if you could just get hit, thank you. Let's take out the TNT, just to be safe here. I love being able to lost on this room, because flying helps me out so much. 
No rock tintos hiding up in here, huh? Got a super gluttony fight. That's kind of crazy. Tempted to get in there with Cuba meat. That's what I'm, I'm looking at doing here, but it's risky, obviously. And we haven't gotten the timing quite down yet. That'll do it. There we go. Not going to pick up lard. It's going to slow me down. So I'll just leave that right there on its pedestal. Don't put lard on a pedestal. You guys out there, don't put the lard on a pedestal. The moon, alright. That's a thing. Pop the moon card now. And we find a battery, which doesn't mean anything to me. Oh, again, we can bomb our way into the shop, so why not? And... Da, 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 da. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing to do there. I mean, I'd like to get the tarot cards, don't get me wrong. Just don't have a way to make that happen right now. It's better than no space bar item, for sure. We found our uh, second secret room by accident. That's kind of nice. And inside... We find a fortune teller... All right, let's, let's at least go to the item room here. Uh, I haven't picked up the scissors yet, so I picked it up. I haven't actually gotten the scissors yet. So that's an item off of my... Uh, it's an item off of... Da, 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 the collection page. Huh. Interesting. Does this allow us to do this? Like, what takes damage? Our body still takes damage, right? Yeah, I don't think it allows us to do anything weird. Play you. So we're giving up on the tarot cards. Just play this gentleman. And he gives us the freaking black bean. Are you kidding me? All right. Let's open this. And of course we get some money out of that. Da, 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 da. Can we do anything else in here? No. Let's go, I guess. Don't have any bombs. Yeah, time to go. Double monstro fight. Double monstro fight is pretty scary. Oh my gosh, would you stop with the jumping? Oh, holy crap. Okay, take out the le the hoppers and this fight becomes much more manageable. Much easier to get a get a handle on it. I can ride this bike with no handlebars, with no handlebars, with no handlebars. Thinking about getting the cube of meat in there, I really shouldn't though. Really should not do that. You actually do not shoot any kind of laser, you're just a regular monstro, so your shots are easy to avoid as long as I'm being smart here. So with that uh, scissors pickup, I'm pretty sure the only items pick this up yeah we want book of belial faux show pretty sure the only items i need are uh missing no from the secret room missing number and then uh shop items from donating uh, i need to buy a red candle i've never picked up a red candle and then let's see if i can't shoot this from a safe angle here safe Kurt angle um oh i need to i need to buy red candle and then i need to unlock um stopwatch for 999 and blue candle for 900 in the opposite order from that obviously is the way they'll be unlocked and i also need to pick up um super bandage i think 
I'll use this here. I'm afraid of getting hit on this room. Don't want to suffer from too good to use too much with the the uh, the Book of Belial here. This guy doesn't chase me when I'm over a gap. Our damage, our base damage is not great, but Book of Belial will help out quite a bit. I can see forever is pretty nice. Full health doesn't matter. Telepills to a trap room that I'm not going to fight in yet, at least. Two red fires. Extinguish those pretty quickly. Let's go up here. Alright, this room is not so scary when you've got decent range and we've got basically the minimum range I would want for this room. Alright. Nubs are going down. And we got a key, three bombs and three keys. Decent place to be, and we got friggin' holy mantle. That is awesome for some obvious, obvious reasons. I can use holy mantle to go into the curse room. I may even do this room here. Probably will, in fact. Okay, let's be cool. You got holy mantle, doesn't mean you're invincible. Just be smart about where you're standing. Good stuff, good stuff. Haven't gotten hit yet, so holy mantle's still still alive. Still alive. Alright. I probably will go fight in the trap room. It's just a regular mob trap room. Let's do it. Just don't get hit early and you're perfectly safe. The later you can, you know, use that holy mantle, the, the safer you're going to be. It, uh, it even erodes your confidence a little bit and it, it's kind of a snowball effect once you get hit. Once you use your holy mantle charge or uh, use for the room. Let's go... Grab this, so we have it. Curse the maze it makes me, I, you know, I gotta keep my, be on my toes. Cause it could just throw me into another room of combat when I'm not prepared. So every every door could be a dangerous door, could be a scary door. But uh, this is looking like a a good run here now. I'm feeling good. Oh, what we got going. Book of Belial, Guaranteed Devil Deals, Holy Mantle, Protection. Got, uh, got the base formula going. Okay, be cool. You can uh, outrange these guys. Just barely. Plenty of money. Definitely going to buy There's Options. And I think save the rest of the money. I don't really need a key currently. Let's save the money for maybe a better shop item. Too bad we can't donate. This might be a, a long run in which we could get some good donation done if the game would let me. Let's try. See if we can't get above here. Yep, now we're good. Nice. Racking up... I wouldn't say plenty, but a solid number of consumables. Be cool. Come on. Open up a gap for me. Okay. Scary. They're closing in. We're not doing enough damage to really wreck these guys. I didn't want to use Book of Belial here because I want to save it for the boss. Book of Belial is sort of an oh crap button, but not really. It doesn't really make us invincible. It just makes us clear enemies faster. So if we wait too long to use it, we'll be in big trouble. Magicians, nice. It's a nice get. It's not amazing or anything, but it's a nice get. Okay, we took one of those guys down. Oh, holy mantle's gone. This is where you gotta be very careful. I can kinda hang out over the gap here, and then these guys can't hurt me, I don't think. So I can cheese this room very effectively, and then we'll get our holy mantle charge back for the next one. So we took out the major threat, which were the enemies that could shoot directly at us. And I don't think we can get hurt as long as we're here hugging the wall. 
So I will just do this forever. I have no problem with this. Let's, let's get greedy, though. Oh, let's not get greedy. Let's not get too greedy. Okay. I'm good now. I got this. All right. I got five bombs. There's at least like five secret room locations, so I'm not going to use any bombs here. I am, however, going to use Book of Belial here. Oh, and be scared that I was going to lose my Holy Mantle charge immediately, but we didn't. This guy should give me a bunch of money, actually, which is kind of nice, because he's a golden champion version, if I'm not mistaken. Judging the, uh... The bounce is a little poorly there, getting myself in some undue danger. But we should be okay here. And we got another devil deal, thanks to Book of Belial. Here I'm going to take little Steven... I'm absolutely going to take Death's Touch. We had Death's Touch on a prior Lost run. We did die, but this is a better run that we've got going for us with Holy Mantle. And I think we just go. Let's get going. Uh, I think there was a battery. Maybe we could have backtracked and got. Maybe I should have. What do we have here? Yeah, I will do that. I just want to uh, get a charge ready first for Book of Belial. Good deal. Mr. Boom. Mr. Boom, Mr. Boom, Mr. Boom. Oh, there's a uh, Tinted Rock here. I'll put Mr. Boom right there. Just a couple of soul hearts. That's all right. Uh, one more room will give us a charge here. Cool. Shouldn't be too hard of a room, really. Just don't get greedy with trying to get multiple hits on the enemies when uh, one will suffice, one at a time. And the telepills. Well, we don't need the telepills. We've got Holy Mantle. And we're out of here. I mean, I could use the telepills to try to cheese, like, the, uh, boss trap room. In fact, I'm gonna. I like the idea of that. And especially since it didn't give me anything, and that troll bomb could have killed me. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good, troll bomb. Thanks anyway. Alright. Going well. Uh, I'm very much enjoying this run. It's a uh, it's a it's a solid chance. So I apologize if the commentary has kind of slowed down quite a bit um, because I, I want to focus on the possibility of getting a lost win here. Oh, he's gonna blow up. He's gonna explode. He's gonna explode. Fuck! <laughs> the instant I decide to talk about the possible win. And I blow it. 37R4, B29K. Good lord. <sighs> How are you guys doing? I'm good. I really am. It may seem like, you know, I, I have that instant of being pissed off. But like I've said before, like I said at the outset of this video, I like the Lost. I like the, the game in general. But I like the Lost in principle, and I'm happy to be here playing. So we're going to reset, recalibrate just a little bit here, and uh, keep going. Got maybe a couple more Lost attempts in me. Hopefully just one really good one. But we'll see where this goes. Pheromones is fine. The enemies are going to maybe attack each other a little bit here. But it's not going to do anything major. You're going to split into two spiders. They take two shots each. And... Alright. Got our item room with Thunder Thighs. I don't really... 
I don't really want thunder thighs, because I could walk into a bomb rock. I can't hide over rocks. It doesn't give me pop rocks. Um, you know, it doesn't rock my socks. It's many downsides to thunder thighs. Uh, no, but strategically, uh, hiding over rocks is a nice thing as the lost. And I don't want to be smashing all of those rocks and destroying my own cover, basically. Be like, if James... It'd be like if James Bond... It'd be like if James Bond were a sign that said, I'm a spy, you know? You don't want to destroy your own cover. I was in the middle of making a joke game. No killing me during crappy joke time. This is going to give me health of some kind no matter what, so that sucks, but a key is not bad. Alright. Let's get, let's get a solid run. I, I lost Holy Mantle, Death's Touch, Book of Belial. That room with four long-legged spiders on it, man. That's a tough room. It's a tough room uh, on any run, but on a lost run, gotta be shitting me. Um, I used Book of Belial maybe a little too late. Could have cleared them a little faster if I had popped Book of Belial right away, but it's easy to second guess in hindsight. Let's just move along. Rebel Baby 2.0 is a decent accompaniment to the Lost. We can uh, use Robo use Robo Baby intentionally to kill enemies from afar and maybe keep ourselves a little safe here. He's not extremely powerful, but he is powerful to a certain extent. I will full clear an early basement because the enemies should be relatively easy and we could get something that makes us stronger or just consumables to help us out moving forward. We could find a, a, a dime, we could find small rock, we could find a bomb at least to unlock the tinted rocks that are on this floor. So there's, there's that bomb. There's two tinted rocks, right? One here and one up here if I'm not mistaken. So it's possible this could be our secret room. Can I get them both? Damn it. Mom's toenail. I don't want mom's toenail. The foot will come down like every 10 seconds and it could kill me. Okay. I'm not going to use the Empress card here. I don't think Monstro warrants it. Just going to try to use Robo Baby to, to beat this fight here. Robo Baby 2.0. Just going to get in there and do a whole bunch of damage to Monstro. It's already got him halfway down. Good stuff, Robo Babes. The thing I like about Isaac is there's so many items that make you play the game in so many different ways. Like doing primary damage with Robo Baby, I don't think I've done that ever before in this game. Doing like my my the most of my damage with Robo Baby 2.0. I don't think I've ever been in that position before, but here I am. You know, like 300 hours in to this game, finding myself playing it in an entirely different way. Let's be cool. Be cool. You can hide like over a cluster of rocks, maybe. I, I, I'm always weird. Like, I don't feel like I have the positioning right over the cluster of rocks. So I always question whether or not I'm actually safe, I guess. If that makes sense. We've got one key. Two keys, but that's a double key room. I don't necessarily want to open it right away here. And waste both of my only keys. So instead, we'll keep moving here. No bombs. And only seven cents means we're, we're not doing great from a consumable standpoint right now. Our Robo Baby could shoot a bomb enemy when I'm not ready for it. Perhaps a notable downside of Robo Baby here. One of the few, but it is there. He also has to be pretty close, I think, to enemies to, to to realize they're there, which is a little weird. 
All right. Uh, we got a bomb. Getting a bomb is nice. Did I see a tinted rock somewhere? Did I see a tinted rock somewhere? Not yet, apparently. Well, let's head towards the item room. Chariot card. Uh, da, da, da. Secret room? Not our secret room. Secret room is probably below the shop here. Just be cool. You still have tears when Robo Baby fails. You still have your own tears. All right, so there is a tinted rock here. And as before, I'll just pick up Gimpy. What's with like the rocks that just randomly crumble sometimes when you're in a room? I wonder what causes that. It happens just from time to time. Hmm. Empress Chariot. Let's take the Empress. So down here is our shop. That's a, let's go into the double key room. Okay. Left hand's not bad. And a dead guy. Thank you, dead guy. Uh, do we go into the shop and hope for like a bomb? I don't think it's worth it. We'll go down here. We'll pop Empress. And Robo Baby's gonna do his thing on Larry Jr. big time. The screw is nice. And we got Spirit of the Night, which is fine. It means we can hide over rocks and shoot over them now. Ceremonial robes, which is sweet. And a soul heart. All right. Not bad, not bad. I want to go back. Kate, we have to go back. And I want to pick up the chariot card, I think it was. Yeah, chariot card. And part of me wants to open the shop, but I'm going to resist that urge. I think it's a bad idea. We'll save the key to make sure we can get into the item room on the next floor. No respawn item, very little protection so far, so we're just flying by the seat of our pants here. We'll go ahead, we'll do it. Good stuff. Getting to the point where our damage is better than Robo Babies, just to be expected, but uh, he was a good help while we needed him. And he'll still be a good help. He just uh, won't be as... Uh, we won't be relying on him. He'll just be a, a flavor. A little extra little extra pizzazz. A little bonus damage. So we got two of the same pill. Just speed up. Yeah, I can take both of those. This is a good solid uh, speed stat we've got now. We've got Catacombs XL. Which means... Uh, we'll miss, we'll, uh, get one devil deal here. Two boss rooms, two item rooms, one shop. Come on up here, Robo Babes. Yeah, there we go. Get them all in a line. Hmm, Liberty Cap, or left hand that's an interesting one i think i'm gonna take the left hand because becoming guppy is one of the real ways you win as the lost and mapping honestly as the lost not as important as it is with other characters or as it is just in terms of going fast in general but some people may vehemently disagree with that. I know a lot of people value mapping very, very highly, and for good reason. But on this run, I'm going to say no. And I'm going to stick with... Oh, I'm going to stick with the left hand here. Good stuff. Scary room. Scary room there. No tinted rocks. 
Just looking back through these, we got some mushrooms that we could pop open. Maybe I'll look here. Oh, oh. So those are like right below, so it would be like here. It's not our secret room, sadly. Okay, you can just take these guys out. Go for it. Come on, dude. Do your thing. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Double damage there with Robo Babes. Thankfully, that was not a seeking troll bomb. Those have killed me in the very recent past as the lost oh <laughs> all right that's gonna do it for this uh set of lost videos i might do a, a few more um but that's gonna do it here if you like the video leave a like or a comment if you want to see more videos when they come out please subscribe i'm accidental grenade thank you so much for watching